This is the Leica CME microscope that we have in the Harriman Microbiology, Anatomy, and Physiology labs. Uh, the first thing you'll want to know about this microscope is the power button is on the back here. So we'll unwrap the cord and get it plugged in. Alright, now you notice I'm picking up the microscope. I'm not dragging it. There's a reason for that. These microscopes are heavy, and you don't want to drag them on the bench because it vibrates the uh, lenses, mirrors and such on the inside. It can get everything out of whack, out of alignment. All right, so we're going to, got it plugged in. We're going to reach back here and turn on the power. Down here on the left side of the base, as you're facing the microscope, is the light intensity knob, red knob. We're initially going to turn that all the way up, all the way toward you so that the light is at its highest intensity. Uh, this is the stage of the microscope. Uh, the stage is lowered and raised by this knob, the coarse focus. So we're going to lower this stage. Let's see, it may be already lowered. Yep, and make sure it's lowered all the way down. So when you move this toward you, that lowers the stage. All right, I'm gonna turn this around so that you can um, see what I'm talking about here. This is the stage. Uh, on this side of the microscope are two knobs that actually move the stage and the slide holder. This whole contraption, the knobs in this, is called the mechanical stage. When you take a slide, you want to put the slide, you want to squeeze these two things together so that these slide holders open up and the slide goes between them, not underneath. You do not want the slide to go underneath these, you want it to go between them. Right? And then you can use these knobs on the bottom to move that slide so that it's on the center of the stage, centered right above where the light is coming through the stage. So these are the stage knob adjustment or mechanical stage knobs here. Uh, underneath the stage is a series of lenses called the condenser. This whole apparatus moves up and down by a knob that's on the other side of the microscope. The small black knob here is the knob that lowers and raises the condenser. So we initially want this all the way up. What I do is I put it up and then down just a hair because sometimes it can hit the back of the slide. So all the way up and then back it down just a little bit. On the front of this underneath the stage is a lever. Let me hold this up so you can maybe see it a little bit better. This lever right here this opens and closes what's called the iris diaphragm. Again, when you first start out, you want that open so that the maximum amount of light is coming through. You can see as I move this lever back and forth, it decreases the amount of light. So we have the condenser up, we have the stage all the way down, we have the iris diaphragm all the way open, and the light intensity at its set at its highest level. We always start with our lowest, my lowest objective. The lenses that are down here on the bottom are called objectives. The lenses that are on the top that you look through are called the oculars. This structure that the objectives are rotating on is called the nose piece. And so we want to start with what's called the 10x objective. That's our lowest power objective uh, pointing down. These things kind of snap into place. The oculars can be focused. Let me turn this around a little bit for you. Uh, you'll notice there are some dials, some numbers here. When you first start out, you should rotate those all the way down. And then once you get the image focused under the microscope, you can adjust these for your individual eyes. This is a binocular scope. There are two oculars that you see. And these oculars also move apart. Each person's interocular distance is, it's an individual measurement. When you go to get glasses or anything, they have to measure that. So you have to adjust this, and once you get something focused under here, you will push these, you can, you start them, if you start with them far out, you can push them in until you see, looking with both eyes, you see one circle. Or you can start with them pushed in and slowly bring them out so that the two circles 
the two fields of view merge into one. And that makes it a lot easier on your eyes. You're lost, a lot less likely to get a headache. All right, let me get a slide. Now, when you take a slide, the slide is probably going to be dusty. And so you're, you're going to want to either use a, a chem wipe or your shirt tail or your lab coat. Uh, it doesn't really matter. When you're cleaning a glass slide, you just want to clean the dust off of it. There may be some fingerprints on it as well. Again, when you go to place this slide under the microscope, you want to, to move these things apart so that the glass slide slips in between the slide holders. And then you can center the specimen over that where the light is coming through the stage. Now at this point, we have our 10x objective pointing down. And we're going to take our coarse focus knob. That's the large knob. The smaller knob with the numbers on it, that's the fine focus. We're going to take the coarse focus, and we're going to bring that stage all the way up until it stops. Hopefully, these should have a block on them where they will not hit. The, yeah, there's a lock. So they should not hit the objective. All right, I'm going to turn this back around. Now, you always want to start with the stage all the way up and always focus so that the stage is moving down. That, because if you focus with the stage moving up, you can break the slide. You always want to start with the stage in the highest position and then slowly rotate the coarse focus. You always use the coarse focus knob with the 10x objective. And as you look into the microscope, you ro slowly rotate the coarse focus until the object comes into focus. Then you switch to the, you move the nose piece to the next objective, which in, on these scopes is the 20x objective. Now you only use the fine focus, the knobs with the numbers on them. And you shouldn't have to do very much adjustment at all to put this back into focus. These objectives are, are parfocal objectives, which means that they all should be focused in about the same plane, at the same level, uh, stage level. Once you get it focused at 20x, you then rotate to the 40x, and again, just touching the fine focus, making just a slight adjustment to bring the object into view. Now, at any point along the way, if you were under the 10x or the, or the 20x and the light was too bright, you can lower that light. But as you go from 10x to 20 and 20 to 40 and eventually 40 to 100, you're going to want that light intensity to be at its maximum. The higher you go in magnification power, the smaller the little opening is for the light to enter the objective lens. And so you want the light to be at its brightest as you go up. Uh, the condenser, you can adjust that. In microbiology, we tend to leave it very high because we're looking at stained specimens um, that are very, the objects, the bacteria are very small, and so you want the light to be um, as bright and as, the condenser actually focuses, helps focus the light up into the objectives, and so you want that condenser up high. Now, when you move from the 40 to the oil objective, the 100x objective, what you do is you rotate, and again, I'll turn this so you can see, you rotate the objectives halfway in between, and then you get a drop of immersion oil and put on the slide. In anatomy and physiology, we usually don't use the oil objective. In microbiology, we almost always use the oil objective. And what you do with this is you take a drop of oil and, whoops, <laughs> missed. Try that again. You take a drop of oil and you put it right in the middle of that slide. And then you rotate the oil objective. Make sure you're rotating the 100x, the oil immersion objective, not the 40. Now, sometimes when you first do that, you'll trap a little bit of air between the bottom of the objective and the oil. And so what I do is I tend to rotate it out, snap it in a couple of times just to make sure that I don't get any air bubbles in there. And you'll notice that the oil is touching the objective. <coughs> what happens is the oil helps focus the light beams even further into that objective. And again, once you're on, once you leave the 10x objective, you only touch the fine focus knob. And again, you should only have to focus it very little bit, adjust it very, a very small amount in order to bring the object into focus. Now at this point, you can use the, the um, stage knobs. Again, pick this up. 
these, and as you're looking in the oculars, you can actually move the stage around to see different objects on the slide. And as you move the, the slide around using the stage adjustment knobs, you can kind of go a little bit back and forth with the fine focus, because as you move along, things will come in and out of focus for you. And so you kind of want to just move, kind of look around and see what's there, adjusting the fine focus as you need to. All right, when you're finished with the microscope, you want to bring that, take the coarse focus and bring the stage all the way back down, moving the uh, objectives out of the way. Again, the glass slide, you can clean off with a paper towel or a chem wipe. Uh, you want to get the oil off of there. But we never, ever use anything except lens paper. Lens paper is the only thing that we use on the microscope. Lens paper is a very thin, you can almost see through it, paper. It, uh, any other kind of paper has fibers in it that will scratch the objectives. We can also use this lens cleaner to help get the oil off of the oil immersion objective. And so you just put a few drops here, and then, again, with the stage out of your way, you can actually turn this so you can get the oil off of the objective. Now, one of the things you're going to notice about this oil objective is that there's actually a little spring. It actually springs up like this. That's a protection mechanism uh, to keep you from damaging the slide and the objective. The problem is the oil also gets up in that, where that goes in and out like that, the oil gets up in there. And so we want to make sure we take some of this lens cleaner and get the oil out from around. So not just on the bottom here where the actual lens is, but on this edge as well. You can also use the lens paper, and it's not a bad idea to go ahead and do that, and go ahead and clean all of the objectives. Um, the 40, if you're not really careful, you'll drag the 40 through the oil. And so I always go ahead and use a little bit of the lens cleaner and clean the, the 40 objective particularly well. Yeah. It also has a little give to it. All right. So once we're through, we put the, we've got our objectives clean. You can also clean the oculars with this as well. You can clean the, the light source down here. Um, you can clean the uh, condenser lens. Uh, but any of the lenses on the microscope always use lens paper. So once we get through with that, um, we like to take this, put the stage, the, the mechanical stage, the slide holder kind of in the center so it's not sticking way out. Stage is all the way down. 10x objective is uh, pointed straight down. We turn the light intensity knob down, reach around the back of the microscope, turn the power off, and then wrap the cord around the microscope. Put the dust cover back on it and set it gently back in its uh, storage spot. And that's all it is. That's all there is to using a microscope.